Our next game takes us out west to Las Vegas, Nevada, the beautiful city in Allegiant Stadium where the number 17 Boise State Broncos hit the road, take on the UNLV Rebels Friday night kickoff at 10.30 p.m. late night kickoff on CBS SN. Boise currently favored in this one on the road by three and a half points. Obviously, both teams coming into this game with one loss under their belt. And they're looking to keep their playoff and Mountain West championship hopes alive. Brad, I'll turn it over to you. These are two programs that we've watched closely this year and both have very promising outcomes at the end of the year. Thoughts on this game and who comes out on top in Las Vegas? Really excited for this game, guys. Like, I, I think out of all the matchups, this may be, you know, one of my top three games to watch this weekend. Um, and interested to get uh, y'all's thoughts as well. To me, this is a little bit of a playoff eliminator. Not to say that, you know, the other team is completely out of it. But, I mean, you look, you know, two two losses, uh, you know, these two, both these teams trying to get in that that power. I'm sorry, that group of five, you know, at large berth for the playoffs. So this, I mean, truly is a, a playoff uh, eliminator in a way. We were just talking off camera. Obviously, these two teams could meet again in the Mountain West Conference. So it's a uh, Mountain West Conference championship game. Excuse me. So this is a really, really big game Friday night. We've talked about UNLV a lot here on Break the Huddle. Just all their off the field stuff that I'm not going to get into, but continue to be impressed with Barry Odom. Uh, Hodge Malik Williams has just transitioned to quarterback seamlessly. Guys, I'm really impressed with Nate. I know you've mentioned this guy a couple times. Ricky White, the third, their really talented senior wide receiver. Uh, he has had a really, really good year. And of course, he had almost 1,500 yards last year, but he looks like he's just going to, he's on pace to put up big numbers again. A guy for Boise, and I'm going to get to the star in a second, but is quarterback uh, Maddox Madsen of course everyone thought that the USC uh, quarterback was was uh, transfer was going to start and here comes Maddox Madsen he's not a big guy only 510 he's done a good job 1200 yards on the year 12 touchdowns with just two picks he's done an unbelievable job of course it makes it easy when you're handing off to a running back like Ashton Genty and guys to me I think he deserves to be in New York at the end, at the end of the season for the Heisman and I get it. A lot of people are going to say, well, he's playing in the Mountain West. Look, he's already got 1,200 rushing yards and 17 touchdowns, and that's in six games. That is just – that is a ridiculous, ridiculous pace. This game is going to be very, very close. I think you uh, – I, I think you see both offenses uh, and both running games really, really have success. I'm taking the Broncos because their defense in a close one. I think that three and a half is accurate. But give me the Broncos in a road victory Friday night. Wow, wow, Brad. Going with the away team – the favorite, even though they're not the underdog, they're they're definitely going into a hostile environment in Las Vegas. Rooster, I'll turn it over to you. This is a big game for both of these teams, as we mentioned. Who do you have coming out on top? Well, as Brad mentioned, this is this is a playoff eliminator. I mean, you've still got Army and Navy are undefeated. Yep. You've got Liberty's undefeated. I mean, even though their schedule's god awful, they're going to make it <laughs> over any. Any two loss group of five team, they're going to make it over any of them. Sure. So it, at the end of the day, it's coming down to, I mean, the loser of this game's out. And at the end of the day, all I got to say is two words Ashton Genty, nothing else. <laughs> As he mentioned, he's got, he's got 1,200 rushing yards, and he hasn't even played the fourth quarter in half of these games. And he hasn't played the second half in, a, in about, I know for a fact, at least one. I'm pretty sure there's been a, at least probably two, two games he hasn't even played the second half in. And he's averaging 200 yards a game. I mean, Ashton Genty. That's all you got to say. These people are going to be leaving. They're going to be showing up to the game. They're going to leave and head straight to the sports book right at the MGM Grand to go absolutely hammer the Heisman odds line on Ashton Genty because he is unbelievable. I'm taking the Broncos in this one. You know, guys, when I look at this game, it's it's an interesting matchup. Um I don't know what just happened outside of the apartment, but I sounded like someone fell out, uh, or outside the studio. Excuse me, it sounded like someone fell down the stairs uh, at Break the Huddle Studios. But nonetheless, back to the game. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. Um, when I when I look at this game, it could have been the Broncos crashing in. Um, when I when I look at this game, 
the the defensive line for for Boise State phenomenal. The rest of their defense horrible. They 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 are definitely overrated coming into this game when it comes to matching up. So what do they need to do to win? Well, for one, they got to run Ashton Genty, which I think they will for obvious reasons. And number two, they got to keep Haj Malik Williams inside the pocket because if you let him break down and break out of the pocket and the play breaks down, he's going to make a play. And we and Brad, you mentioned it too with Ricky White, right? I mean, he's he's come on fire. Like he's he's electric since Haj has taken over at quarterback. And and this is going to be a tough game. I think they're right on the money with the spread. I think this is going to be a very close game. For me, one other thing that I want to mention also, by the way, at Break the Huddle on Twitter, shame on UNLV. You blocked us. Why? We've picked you to win every single week that we've picked your games, and now you want to block us because I'm promoting our channel on your page? Give me a break. Give me the Boise State Broncos big in this one, and I hope that um, summer intern of yours gets fired for blocking us on social media, and I hope your playoff chances get ruined because you deserve it. Break the huddle has picked you every single week. Now we're all picking against you, and I hope you do see this. Um, So, yeah, give me the Boise State Broncos big in this one. Cover the spread. Let us know down in the comments who you think is going to come out on top in this Mountain West matchup in Las Vegas, Nevada.